Lung ultrasonography is particularly useful for the practicing nephrologist. Nephrologists can quickly assess the lungs for any evidence of volume overload or pulmonary edema, as well as exclude pleural effusions. We'll start at the apex of the right lung. Place the probe perpendicular to the chest wall with the indicator facing superiorly. Here we see normal lung. Bear in mind that because of the numerous air-water interfaces, the lung parenchyma is not well visualized. Here we can see the pleural line. This is where the parietal and visceral pleura rub against each other. Take a breath. There we see normal lung sliding. What we're seeing is an intercostal space. Uh, we see the pleural line between two rib shadows. Deep to the pleural line, we see serial reflections termed A-lines. These are indicative uh, of well aerated lung tissue and are a normal finding. Now we'll move to the left lung. It's important to keep the probe perpendicular to the pleura to obtain good imaging. Again, we see normal lung sliding and an A-line pattern indicative of, of normal lung. Now we'll move to the right lung base. Here we use the liver as an acoustic window to the lung. We can visualize the hyperechoic diaphragm posterior uh, and superior to the liver. And we see a curtain sign with inspiration as lung swings into view. Again, we can visualize normal lung sliding and an A-line pattern. Take a deep breath, and out. Good. Now we'll move to the left lung base. Here we use the spleen as an acoustic window into the base of the left lung. Again, we see the hyperechoic diaphragm just posterior to the spleen and a curtain sign with lung swinging into view. If a, if a pleural effusion is present, it'll be posterior to the diaphragm. You'll see an anechoic space, and you'll be able to see the spine posterior to that. This has been an introduction to lung ultrasonography for the nephrologist. We learned basic lung parenchymal patterns uh, of uh, reverberation artifacts, as well as how to look for pleural effusions.